Look at the size of this thing. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Daniel here with the Batwing of the iconic 1989 movie with Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson and Kim Basinger. And I have here the Batmobile of the same movie. And let's close this here. So guys, if you missed my unboxing video, I was saying that I was hoping that LEGO kept the scale accurate between the Batwing and the Batmobile that we had uh, about a year and a half ago. And yes, they did. If I open the cockpit here, and if I take the, uh, the cockpit off here, just like that, the size of the seat in the Batmobile is exactly the same size as the seat in the Batwing. So this is perfect. Lego did a great job in keeping the scale accurate. Now before I talk more about this set, I want to show you here a short clip about a, about a minute of the build. The build has a few Easter eggs and I'm going to show that in those, uh, in those clips. So I'll be back in about uh, a minute. Like you saw in the video, a couple of uh, Easter uh, eggs, the, uh, the pink hearts and the uh, Batman yellow discs. Am I a big fan of, um, of uh, Easter eggs in Lego sets? Not really, because once you build a set, and even now I forgot, is, are the Batman discs uh, over here in the front or here in the back? I, I don't remember. So. And then when you have family members or friends and they come over and look at your set, then they don't know about the Easter egg. So I'm not a big fan uh, of uh, Easter uh, eggs. What comes with the, the set are three mini figurines. So we have Batman, we have of course the Joker, and we have this guy, the helper. I forgot uh, his name. It's the guy with the big uh, mustache in the, in the movie. What is key about this set, and I should say that first, is that you can hang it on the wall. On the box, there's a picture, and they show the, uh, the bat wing on the wall. There's a space in the back to put the bracket. Actually, that would be a big screw. The hardware is not included in the set. You need to provide your own screw, but you have to be careful. It, this is heavy. So if you put that on a drywall, don't just put a screw in a drywall. You have to put an insert 
or a, a peg or something. I forgot the exact name for that. But you need to put something for the screw to hold the weight of this beast. So as you can see, it's huge. You can remove the cockpit. Uh, the, the flaps move over here. Great details on the cannons over here and here the two in the front. Um, you can use a little wing here to remove the cockpit. I don't know why LEGO didn't put the cockpit on the hinges. That, uh, it's a mystery to me, it would be a bit easier to remove, but uh, that's fine. Lots of details in the cabin, let me grab my uh, side camera here. So look at that, lots of, uh, lots of details. A few stickers, as you can see, for the controls. And uh, the back here has the, uh, of course, the plate with the specs of the Batwing. So let me put this back in place over here. So there is only one thing I wish, and actually it's fine to have a set that is black, but because most of the parts, and I made the same comment for the Batmobile when I did this review a year and a half ago, the parts are shiny so it is kind of like a like a laptop that is shiny black you get fingerprints um, i wish the parts were the matte uh, rough black parts like these parts over here now let me show you the difference if i get close see these parts over here they are a little rough so they will never show fingerprints versus these parts over here that you can see with the light very shiny and you get fingerprints so that's the only drawback of having a set that is basically all black um, so what else can i say very interesting build uh, a lot of parts of course more than 2000 uh, pieces it goes very well with the batmobile um, on a display i think it's just amazing so guys uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and uh, i'll be happy to get back to you and give you uh, any details that you want uh, to know on this uh, on this set so thank you for watching and uh, see you next time goodbye guys